When we last left off, Menahem had died and been succeeded by his son, Pekahiah. Pekahiah was eventually killed by his captain, Pekah, the son of Remaliah, who usurped the throne. Hello, I'm Knight Jake, and welcome to Bible Wars. Pekah began to rule over Israel during the 52nd year of Azariah, king of Judah. Pekah would rule over Israel for 20 years. During his reign, Azariah was succeeded by his son Jotham, who was succeeded by his son Ahaz. Ahaz began to reign during the 17th year of Pekah. Ahaz followed the example of Israel and built statues to Baal, even sacrificing his son to Molech. Therefore, the Lord handed him over to his enemies. Following his ascension to the throne, Ahaz was asked to join a coalition formed by the northern kingdom of Israel under King Pekah and by Aram Damascus under King Rezin. These two kings wished to compel Ahaz to join them in opposing the Assyrians who were arming a force against the northern kingdom under Tiglath-Pileaz III, also known as Paul. We know that a coalition had been proposed because in Isaiah 11.6, Pekah and Rezin planned to kill King Ahaz and to put the son of Tabal on the throne of Judah so that the three nations would be united against Assyria. The fact that they chose to replace Ahaz with a new king rather than just conquering Judah shows that their intent was not to conquer Judah but to form a coalition with Judah. Since King Ahaz declined the coalition, King Rezin of Aram Damascus and King Pekah of Israel attacked Judah, besieging Ahaz at Jerusalem. Rezin captured Alath a port on the Red Sea, on the Gulf of Akoba, which was an Edomite territory. This territory had originally come under Israel control during the reign of King David. It had been lost, but had been recaptured by Azariah, Ahaz's grandfather. This land, regained by Azariah, was now lost during Ahaz's reign to Rezin, the king of Aram, Damascus. Once this land was removed from Judean control, the Edomites moved back in, now under Syrian control. Pekah killed 120,000 men of Judah in battle. Zachri, a mighty man of Ethram, a valiant warrior of Pekah's army, struck down Maasiah, Ahaz's son, Azrakayim, the commander of the palace, and Elkanah, Ahaz's royal advisor. The army of Israel took 200,000 Judeans captive, women and children, and carried off treasures to Samaria. When the men of Israel returned to Samaria, they were met by Oded, a prophet of the Lord. He warned them that God had given Judah into their hands because of the sin of Judah, but that the Israelites had killed the Judeans in a rage that had reached to heaven. Oded warned them that by taking the Judeans as slave, the wrath of God would come upon them. Certain chiefs of the Ephraimites, Azariah, Barakiah, Jehizkiah, and Amasa, stood up and spoke against the returning army, rebuking them for taking the Judeans as slaves. So the soldiers abandoned the slaves and left them there. So the chiefs came down. And they clothed those slaves who were naked, gave them sandals for their feet, gave them food and water, anointed them with oil, and put the feeble on their donkeys. The chiefs took the Judean slaves to Jericho, which was an Israelite city on the Israelite-Judean border. And they handed over the Judean women and children to their kinsmen in Judah. The chiefs then returned home. At this point in time, in addition to Rezin and Pekah, Judah was attacked by the Edomites, who had been freed from the Judean control by Rezin, and also the Philistines, seizing the opportunity 
also attacked Judah, capturing Beth Shemes, Ajalon, Gedaroth, Soko, Timnah, and Gimzo. The Philistines settled in these towns, claiming them as Philistine territory. Ahaz sent to Tiglath Pileaz III of Assyria. He pledged himself to him as a loyal servant and pleaded that Tiglath would save him from Rezin and from Pekah. Ahaz took all the silver and gold from the temple of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house and sent them to Assyria as a tribute. So Tiglath marched on Damascus and captured it. He killed Rezin and carried off the people of Aram to Ker. As for Israel, Tiglath led the first Assyrian conquest against the northern kingdom. He conquered Naphtali, taking the towns of Aijon, Janoa, Abel, Beth, Makar, Kadesh, Hazor. He also took the regions of Galilee and of Gilead over the Jordan. He took the area of Reuben, Gad, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, which were on the other side of the Jordan. However, Ahaz's alliance to Tiglath failed him. For after Tiglath had conquered Aram Damascus and the northern and eastern regions of Israel, he turned his eyes on Judah. As Second Chronicles 28, 20-21 says, Tiglath Pileaz III afflicted Ahaz instead of strengthening him. For Ahaz gave a tribute to the king of Assyria, but it did not help him. In order to please the king of Assyria, Ahaz went to Damascus to meet Tiglath. Ahaz saw the altar at Damascus and decided to worship that god. He sent to Uriah the priest, who built an exact replica in Jerusalem. And Ahaz took all the vessels out of the temple of the Lord and made them into altars to the god of Damascus. He closed up the temple at Jerusalem. There was also a covered walkway which went from the palace to the temple of the Lord, which was made so that the king could journey to the temple on the Sabbath day. Ahaz caused it to go around the temple and to lead to his altar to the god of Damascus. He did all of this to please the king of Assyria. Meanwhile, during the conquest of Tiglath, Hoshea, the son of Elah, made a conspiracy against Pekah. He struck him down, put him to death, and took his throne. According to the annuals of Assyria founded in Kalah, Hoshea was placed on the throne by Tiglath Pileaz as a puppet king. Thus, during the reign of Tiglath Pileaz III, both Israel in the north and Judah in the south became puppet states for Assyria. Join us next time as Hoshea attempts to betray the Assyrian kingdom. Thank you for watching this episode of Bible Wars. If you enjoy the Bible Wars YouTube series or any of the other work done by the Order of Knight George, you can support us by going over to our Patreon page. I'll leave a link to our Patreon page in the description below. Goodbye and God bless.